everyone, welcome back to Coach Craig Sports, and today is Monday, so we're going to be going over the top performers from this past week through all the games so far. Obviously, you got another game going on tonight, Monday Night Football, and then we had the Steelers-Ravens games that's supposed to happen tomorrow night on Tuesday Night Football. Hopefully that one does happen, but we're just sticking to the schedule here, and these are the top performers for the week so far. First off, we got the quarterback position. We got Deshaun Watson is the top dog. Once again, and as a Texans fan, this makes me pretty happy. I know it's been a rough season for us overall, but Watson is one of the good bright spots. So Deshaun Watson was 17 out of 25, 318 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, 24 yards rushing. Was against a very poor Lions defense, but if he keeps rolling the way he's been rolling, should be very good for, for you guys if you have him on your fantasy team. 41.12 fantasy points, and this is six point per passing touchdown format. If you play in four point per passing touchdown format, just adjust accordingly. Then we got Patrick Mahomes up next 37 out of 49, 462 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions, 28 yards rushing, 37.28 fantasy points. Very good day for him overall. Him and Tyreek Hill paired up very nicely against Tampa Bay. He did a lot early on in the game, not as much later on in the game, so he could have probably had more points, honestly. Then we had Aaron Rodgers last night on Sunday Night Football, 21 out of 29, 211 yards, 4 touchdowns, 12 rushing yards, 33.64 fantasy points, definitely a good day for him overall. These first three guys are guys that you want in your lineup week in and week out regardless. Uh, next up we got Kirk Cousins, he continues his nice little hot streak honestly, 34 out of 45, 307 yards, 3 touchdowns, 0 interceptions, 19 yards rushing. Uh, 32.18 fantasy points, very good day for him overall, which is nice to see given the fact that he was missing Adam Thielen, his top wide receiver. Uh, he's definitely a guy, he's the, still a streaming candidate. You can play him in good matchups, obviously. Then we had Tom Brady, last but not least, and 27 out of 41, 345 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, negative one yards rushing, 27.7 fantasy points. And honestly, it was kind of a rough game for him to start, but he got a lot of garbage time points that did help him out in fantasy especially. Other notable performances, there wasn't too many besides the top quarterbacks this week, honestly. Ryan Fitzpatrick had a nice day, over 250 yards passing, two passing touchdowns. Baker Mayfield was efficient, two passing touchdowns, had a solid day overall. But we'll get moved over to the running back position, so now we got Derrick Henry uh, as the top dog. 178 yards, three rushing touchdowns, two receptions for seven yards, 38.5 fantasy points. Very good day for him overall against a very good coach defense. Uh, they were missing a couple guys up front, and that definitely did hurt them. So just look for him to be a weekend, week out starter going forward. Then we got Antonio Gibson, and he had 115 yards, three touchdowns, five receptions, 21 yards, 36.6 fantasy points. Very good day for him overall. It did help out that he played against the Cowboys. He's been very good against the Cowboys so far this year. He's definitely a guy you want to play when he's in better matchups. He should be a solid play going forward as well. Kind of running back two type of guy. This was his highest snap rate percentage so far on the year with 65%. Obviously, they were leading in this game, so he relied more on the run than the pass as well. Then we had James Robinson. Very good day for him once again. 128 yards, one touchdown, five receptions for 31 yards. And 26.9 fantasy points. Something kind of crazy on his side, too, is he played on 97% of snaps. Definitely, if Mike Glenn's the quarterback going forward, he does like to throw it down to the running backs, so that could help him out quite a bit. Then we had Nick Chubb. Very solid game once again. 144 yards, one touchdown, three receptions even this week for 32 yards. 26.6 fantasy points. He's definitely a guy you want to keep playing week in and week out. Then we had Latavius Murray. Had a very, very nice day. He's kind of somebody I mentioned as like a sleeper fill-in running back if you needed somebody. And he definitely paid off in this one. 124 yards, two touchdowns, one reception for two yards as well. 25.6 fantasy points overall. Other notable performances that we had this week at running back position. David Montgomery had a solid game last night on Monday Night Football. Caught a touchdown pass as well. And Kenyon Drake. He had 77 yards rushing if I remember correctly. Two rushing touchdowns. So he's kind of been on his ascend back up, you know, running back two that you can pretty much start most weeks. Austin Eckler returned and had a very nice game overall. Uh, was very involved in the passing game, so that's definitely good to see. You can roll with him going forward. Adrian Peterson, 55 yards, two touchdowns. Decent day in the absence of DeAndre Swift, but he's not a guy that you want to play going forward. Then we had James White, two rushing touchdowns out of nowhere, really. He's a guy, he was actually my star of the week this week. 
But I assumed that they would be trailing in this game and they'd throw to him more, but he only ended up with one catch, but those two touchdowns did help him out quite a bit. Then we got wide receivers. So obviously Tyreek Hill pretty much had a career day. I believe this was the second best fantasy performance in PPR scoring format in history with 15 targets, 13 receptions, 269 yards, three touchdowns. 57.9 fantasy points, so obviously if you had him, it's definitely a big boost to your lineup. And he's a guy that you're going to be starting week in and week out. Like I've been mentioning with him, too, he's getting more targets this year. And honestly, the fact that he's getting those targets is just insane. Will Fuller, seven targets, six receptions, 171 yards, two touchdowns, 35.1 fantasy points. Great day for him overall against the Lions. He's been very, very good this year. He's a guy that you want to start pretty much every week going forward. Then we had Jarvis Landry. He took advantage of a very favorable matchup against some poor Jacksonville defenders. And he had 11 targets, 8 receptions, 143 yards, 1 touchdown, 28.3 fantasy points. Good to see out of him. He's definitely a guy you can use, especially in matchups where Cleveland's going to be trailing and have to throw the ball. Then we got Allen Robinson. He was my wide receiver star of the week. And honestly, part of that was because we didn't know who was going to be playing quarterback for the Bears this week. If he didn't have the two touchdowns, his day wouldn't have been quite as good. But those two touchdowns definitely boosted him up quite a bit. 13 targets, 8 receptions, 74 yards. Two touchdowns, 27.4 fantasy points. Then we got Justin Jefferson, 13 targets, 7 receptions, 70 yards, and two touchdowns, 26 points overall. Had a very good day with Adam Thielen missing. Then other notable performance is that we did have A.J. Brown. He, he did have a receiving touchdown and a kick return touchdown. Debo Samuel returned to the lineup, looked very, very good. I believe 11 catches for 133 yards. Mari Cooper had a nice day on Thanksgiving. Devontae Parker over 100 yards for the Dolphins with Fitzpatrick at quarterback. And then last but not least, Mike Evans had two garbage time touchdowns with Tom Brady, but obviously you got to count those still. Then finally we'll get over to the tight end position, and it was a pretty average tight end week, honestly. Robert Tunyon was the top guy, and he had five targets, five receptions, 67 yards, one touchdown. 17.7 17.7 fantasy points and he's a guy you can play him when he's in a good matchup pretty much otherwise he's a guy that you're not excited about kind of boom bust touchdown dependent tight end then we had evan ingram nine targets six receptions 129 yards 16.9 fantasy points very good day for him overall but he was going against the bengals who are very bad against tight ends so he's a guy like kind of like tunyon that you want to play when he's in a good matchup if he's not in a good matchup then he's, you want to swap him out for somebody else Rob Gronkowski is looking pretty good once again. Seven targets, six receptions, 106 yards, 16.6 fantasy points. He's a guy that you can honestly roll out most weeks at this point in time. Tom Brady obviously trust him, and he's been getting the targets. Then we have Travis Kelsey, eight targets, eight receptions, 82 yards, 16.2 fantasy points. And coming in at number four, that's a little lower than we expect him most weeks, but he obviously is by far the tight end number one, the guy that you can rely on week in and week out. Then we got TJ Hawkinson, 8 targets, 5 receptions, 89 yards, and 13.9 fantasy points overall. Pretty solid game for him once again. The other notable performance that I'm going to mention is Kyle Rudolph. Did pretty well with Adam Thielen and Irv Smith missing in this one. But with that being said, these are the top performers from Week 12. Be sure to let me know what you guys think of these top performers, whether they're going to repeat, who you guys think are going to be the top performers next week. And if you think I missed anyone, just be sure to leave that down in the comments below. Uh, but if you need to get a hold of me for any reason whatsoever, please feel free to do so, whether it's down in the comments at my email, coachcraigsports at gmail.com, on Twitter at Coach Craig Sport, or on the Coach Craig Sports Facebook page. If you guys liked and enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this top performer series. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It helps build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports. If you are newer or current subscribers yet to do so, also hit that notification bell down below. It'll let you know every single time I post up a video. And I post up about five videos a week. Monday is Top Performers. Tuesday is the Waiver Wire episode. Wednesday, I talk about the Thursday Night Football preview. Starts and sits for that game. Thursday is DFS Value Picks. And then... Used to be on Friday, I did the starts and sits, but we're going to continue rolling with that on Saturday since it's done very well on Saturday. So starts and sits for all the other remaining matchups on Saturday. I'll probably try to get another video in on Friday though as well. If you guys have any ideas for another video on Friday, be sure to leave it in the comments below. I'm definitely open to ideas and considering what you guys want to see. 
And with that being said, that's all I got for today's video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.